morning, guys. I just had a big fat yawn <laughs> right when I pressed record, so I'm not crying, even though it kind of looks like it. Oh man, I am so tired today. I don't usually nap, but um, this morning I went to the gym and I wouldn't say uh, this workout was any more taxing than others. Got back, I was doing some work and then I wasn't feeling well, made myself eat lunch and then I just had to lay down. But it's one of those naps, have you had those where you wake up and it doesn't feel like you slept at all, you just know a lot of time has passed. That's how I feel. I don't feel any more rested. Whew, it's really hard to function right now. Remember when you guys were complimenting me on my skin and it was doing so well and you know, I was talking about a little bit about my routine in my empties video. After I filmed that video, I made a few changes to my skin. I shouldn't have done this, but uh, well, one, I think I mentioned that I wanted to kind of see if I could cut back on my lotion P50 because my skin, this really helped clear up my skin but I didn't want to be like super dependent on this and I wanted to see if maybe my skin's just better overall in Hawaii and maybe I could do without this so the first thing I did was I stopped using this and then after I stopped doing that I used um, this sunscreen so this isn't brand new to me I actually bought this in California two of the things that really sold me about this sunscreen um, first of all the brand is Raw Elements and here's what that looks like um, I recently learned that they partnered up with Hawaiian Airlines because their sunscreen is um, reef safe and so it doesn't kill off reef in the oceans when we were flying here I think I was asleep during the flight but when we got to our place here, I remember Brandon whipped out samples of raw elements and I was wondering where he got those from and he was mentioning how like on the flight they were giving it out which I thought was really cool I had purchased this obviously before we flew here uh, the other thing that I really love is that um, it's not in plastic, it's in this tin and so it's really convenient and it's not a liquid and also the cool thing is that this is um, it's tinted so there, there's no white cast, right? So there's so many things that I wanted to really love about the sunscreen and you know, the f a few times that I used it in California, my skin was fine and I think I might have mentioned that it's, it's a really heavy one for everyday use. I thought I could get away with it but the more I kept using it, it just felt really, really heavy. And then a few times I... Um, tried it in Hawaii and I felt like I was getting bumps but then I was using this every day and so nothing really lingered but recently when I stopped using this I wore this one time um, to a workout because I knew we'd be running outside and this is really waterproof another great thing about it and I came home I was so broken out I mean I don't think you can see it now it's calmed down a lot but I was so broken out like my cheeks, my chin, like right here, and they kind of looked hivy. And then when I felt like that got a little better, I just broke out in like tiny whiteheads everywhere. And they were the tiny whiteheads were like even if you scratched it like slightly with the tip of your nail, they would just pop. But I had them like not like a full on beard, but so ever since then, I haven't been using it, which is so sad because I really wanted to love this. So because of that, what I decided was to just reel back to like the basics in my skincare because immediately when that happened, I wanted to get back on this and then I wanted to use, um, I recently purchased Jordan Samuel's um, Etoile with retinol I wanted to use that on top and then I wanted to do like a series of face masks that I just wanted to attack the problem but I know better and I know that's not good for my skin so I decided okay I'm just gonna go super gentle and only um, use pretty much the products I was using consistently since um, it got to the states I mean there are a few recent additions but they're nothing active or crazy it, the switch happened so quickly and it was like oh man I'm right back to my irritated congested skin gonna put on very minimal makeup today because I'm not going out. It's been a while since I've only used the RMS Uncover Up because I usually 
pair it with the glossy skin tint but today I kind of just wanted to put a little bit of the uncover up and just let my skin hang out before I forget, I wanted to say thank you so much for all of your support, whether that was through emails, comments, um, your applications <laughs> for, um, you know, wishing me luck and success on the coaching, pro coaching program that I'm launching. So I just wanted to say thank you so much. I really, I really appreciate it. I received more applications than I thought, so I thought that was really cool. So recently, I rounded up another five products that I finished so I have to figure out um, a time to film that all the products are not just skincare products but I do have some favorites in there for sure so I'm excited to share that with you guys I'm gonna put a little bit of bronzer on just so that I don't look so dead living luminizer this new one, I feel like every time I use it, every time I open it, it just looks brand new. No matter how much I use it, I just can't seem to make a dent in it at all. It's so pretty. It just this never fails to make me feel very awake. Glowy. Um, Cupid's bow. This is... Glossier's stretch concealer in medium and I wanted to put a little bit under my eyes because I think my uh, the dark circles are a bit darker than usual today. I'm gonna add a little bit of the my Laura Mercy translucent powder just in between my brows and on the sides of my nose a little bit because a uh, little too shiny. For those of you guys that have been watching my morning chats for years, this might be pretty boring for you or you can probably guess what I'm using. My makeup really has not changed much at all. But I don't know, I personally, I like seeing people use the things that they love and to continue to use it. You know what? are like true staples in their collection. I'm pretty sure I had this eyelash curler, the Surat Beauty uh, eyelash curler since probably the first episode of uh, Morning Chats and it's still a favorite. I've had the Laura Mercy translucent powder forever and I've had the glossy skin tint you know ever since the first bottle that I shared with you guys in my glossy uh, video Mm. It's also really nice not putting on skin tint today because I didn't have to wash my beauty blender. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do is I still have a little bit of the lip balm that I put on this morning. Glossier Generation G in Zip. Still get asked so much every time I wear this. Um, I wore it in my last morning chat and I, and I mentioned that, how... Um, People always ask me what color I'm wearing when I wear this and then I got a comment and someone asked me what I was wearing. <laughs> yeah, this is a fun one. It's so nice. Okay, done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I wanted to show you guys what I use in my skincare routine. Um, this is not everything in my collection, but these are the things that I use every single day. And I don't think it's that much relatively speaking <laughs> so yeah i won't get into too much detail about you know what's in each of the products and why i love it so much i just want to kind of show you because i have been getting a lot of questions and requests from you guys about what i'm doing in my skincare routine so okay so in the mornings i was using osmia's black clay facial soap that's that little black soap that i have and what i do is whenever i get one of the little black soaps i cut it into thirds now I have like one and a half slivers left, <laughs> it's not very much left and I'm actually going to save that for my upcoming trip in August. That facial soap I've been using for probably the last six months every single day. So yeah, I put that aside for travel 
And then I recently purchased Jordan Samuel's new cleanser. This is the Matinee Cleanser. It's a clear gel. It's really gentle. So after cleansing, I use um, Jordan Samuel's Hydrate Facial Serum. This is the four ounce. I've owned um, three of the one ounces and I have one left, but that too, like I'm saving for my travels because it's a really great size to travel with. And I just kind of invested in the big one because I know I'm going to use this entire thing um, without question. So yeah, this is the second step, my hydrating serum. Then Jordan Samuels, uh, the performance cream. This is my second tube. I recently finished my first one and that's going to be in the upcoming empties video. And I love this lightweight moisturizer. And then on top I use uh, Skin Owls Beauty PM Drops. This is the Maki Berry. I got this in the Beauty Heroes box last year. I forget which month, but I have about that much left. Even though this is, it says it's for the PM, I love it as a layer in the daytime. And on the days I will be outside, this is the SPF that I use. This is um, Josh Rosebrook's Tinted Nutrient Day Cream. Um, yeah, SPF 30. So I will use this instead of these two. I could layer this on top, but sometimes I have pilling issues when I do that. So if I'm gonna spend more time outdoors, these three is what I'll use. The Cleanse My Face, Hydrate Serum, and then the Josh Rose Brooks Tinted Nutrient Day Cream. And then in the evening, um, my first cleanse, this is makeup removal or sunscreen removal, mascara. This is my favorite cleanser, Moon's Aqui Cleanser. And I rotate between this and this Biologique Recherche's um, Lay You. And the reason I'm rotating these two is because I want to make sure that I can get through this before the expiration date. I didn't realize that this only has a shelf life of six months. This one is longer. I think it's like two to three years or something. But um, I just really love this product. And this I want to use up before it goes bad. So either one of these as my first cleanse. For my second cleanse, I use the uh, Jordan Samuel Matinee Gel Cleanser. And then lotion P50. This is the biggest size that I told you about. This is the 8.4 fluid ounce. So I, I put a little bit on a cotton pad and then I use this to exfoliate. And then after the P50, I will use the cream dermo purifiant. This is also from Biologique Recherche. And this is my night cream of choice. I use this every night. So yeah, it's, I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine products that I mix and match. But yeah, I just wanted to share what my simplified um, skincare routine looks like these days. All right, I gotta head out and get some work done. But before I do, um, I wanted to encourage you to sign up for my newsletter down below. The link is always in the description box. If you haven't done so already, every Friday I send out a newsletter sharing you know, some of the things that I've enjoyed, appreciated, or discovered that week. Um, and they're like totally random. They're, they could be like a kitchen utensil or um, something that I always carry with me in my purse or a new person that I met or an experience I had. So yeah, and if you guys are already subscribed to my newsletter, I'd love to hear, um, so far I've sent out three newsletters every Friday. What was your favorite thing that I shared? Leave me a comment down below. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and I'll see you soon. Bye.